Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Rust question and answer. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to answer the question of this user, uh, which is what is the difference between a topic and a message in Rust? Okay, this, they are very basic concepts, but sometimes you can get confused if you are a beginner in ROS. Okay, but for anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required. You'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start to the question. Uh, so basically, a very new question for sure, but I'm having little trouble distinguishing between topics and messages. Okay, so basically in this video I'm gonna show and I'm gonna explain what is the difference between them. And uh, in order to show that, I'm gonna use RDS, the ROS Development Studio, provided by the Construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using ROSDS for free, uh, just following the link in the description of the video, okay? So I'm going to start creating a new project. I'm going to call it Ross Q&A Topics Messages. I'm going to use the same for the description. Doesn't matter. And it's done. Let's open it and wait a few seconds until our environment's ready. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to start opening the IDE and we can check the files in the computer right here. We are going to use our Catkin workspace because we're not going to use a simulation this time. And let's have also some terminals open. Okay, done. Uh, in order to show the difference between ROS topics and ROS messages, I'm going to create a Rust publisher and a Rust subscriber so we can see everything working, messages coming and going through the topic and it's easier to explain the difference between them. Okay, so first of all I'm going to create a new package. So let's get inside Catkin workspace, source folder. Here we have Let's create a package, so get can create package. I'm gonna call it my package, and it depends on Raspi and standard messages. Here it is. Now we have here in Catkin workspace, source folder, my package. I'm gonna create a new folder called scripts, where we're gonna place our publisher and subscriber. So my publisher goes here. Let's open it. Another file, my subscriber, Python. There it is. Let's have it open. And now inside my publisher file, I'm going to just copy and paste and explain line by line what I'm doing here. So basically, we're importing the libraries we're going to use. Uh, basically, uh, first of all, of course, RustPy because we're using Ros and Python, uh, a string kind of message. Now I'm defining a publisher and I'm calling the topic name as my topic. Basically, messages are data that goes through topics. Okay, so we can see also a topic as a channel. So if you are watching to a channel or just listening to a channel, we're going to receive all the data that comes from this channel. Okay, but in ROS it's called topic. Uh, the name of the node is my publisher. So we have nodes. All nodes can use topics. Uh, nodes can publish to a topic or subscribe to a topic. And then, if you are publishing to a topic, you are sending messages through this topic. If you are subscribing to it, you are listening the messages that comes from this topic, com comes through this topic. Okay. And finally, we're defining a rate. And inside a loop, we are sleeping, so we can we have to wait a second to publish another message. Okay. And now to the subscriber. Let's open it. And here it is. Basically, I'm subscribing to the same topic, which is called my topic. And I have to define also the kind of message. Uh, and we are assigning to this callback function 
uh, in this case we are just printing the messages in the terminal okay so let's run them uh, first of all I have to let's get inside the package my package and we have to give privileges to the files inside the scripts folder okay okay we're good to go they are green now let's compile get in workspace because we have to generate some header files before I try and to execute the files, the scripts. Okay, in order to show, uh, we can see the relation between the nodes and the topics, so I'm going to open graphical tools. Let's have it open. Actually, I'm going to open another tab. I think it's better to, to see things happening. Okay, and it's compiled. Now let's source catkin setup, catkin devil setup bash file. I'm gonna do the same in the second terminal. Okay, now let's run my package. We have publisher. Actually is my publisher. And now we are publishing to the topic. So if you open RKT graph, we have to wait a few seconds before it starts. In the meantime, I'm going to open another terminal and we're going to initialize the subscriber. So we have RT graph running. We have the publisher sending message messages through the topic. Okay, so we have a publisher which is a node called my publisher, and it's publishing through this object here, pub. Uh, through the topic, my topic, it's publishing messages all the time, every second. Uh, hello world and the time, okay. And we have in the other side, source, get king, Ross run. We have in the other side, listening to the topic, we have the subscriber. And now we can see in RKT graph. Uh, let's update it. And there it is. You can just ignore these two nodes here. They are default from ROSDS system. So uh, let's do like this. Oh, and there it is. We have nodes in circle shapes. Okay, my publisher, my subscriber, and we have topic in this rectangle shape here and basically the messages goes from my publisher to my subscriber and they go through my topic which is this shape here okay so we have a topic between the nodes so basically if you want to communicate between first node and a second node you have to use a topic for it okay if you want to send a stream of messages this is what we are doing here and basically the difference is that messages they are not static uh, they are not an instance in ROS they are just data that is going and they are going to be expired after some time okay for example for this topic here we have defined a queue size of 10 so every moment we have 10 messages in a queue inside of this topic uh, but they are going to be expired if you don't use them, if you don't read them. In this case, we are publishing and we are reading and printing in the console. Okay, so this is kind of processing the messages, but you will lose the messages after some time. Okay, but the topic is always there. You can publish to this topic and also subscribe to this topic. Okay, uh, basically that's it. In the description of the video, you'll find a complete course about Rust Basics. You can see the course of Rust Basic in C++ or Python and all the resources mentioned in the video. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video about Rust every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments. See you!